The sad little sign. With a lean is what we have to indicate Prospect Hill and the real useful beginning of the Bay Circuit Trail along the southern boundary of Rowley at the edge of Ipswich, not far from Georgetown. This is Route 133 and it's heading towards Route 1A and I came all the way from the Raleigh train station. Only got lost once and was helped by a puzzled but nonetheless decent local police officer who had never heard of the Bay Circuit Trail, bless him. <laughs> nice promotion work there, folks. And uh, a couple of young women walking their children who indicated the general line of march to Route 133. Were it not for the kindness of strangers, <laughs> I'd be pretty miserable right now. For the most part, my base circuit excursions lately have been relatively free of getting lost, but every now and then an opportunity to get lost happens. So there we have a dingy old blaze with a confidence blaze. And this is the inner sanctum parking lot for Prospect Hill and that presumably goes up the hill. But I'm principally interested in the actual bay circuit which begins at this rusty gate with these old white paint blazes and all their rustic charm. From here I'll follow this thing down to Ipswich. Ooh, bracket fungi. Knowing where you are is one of the finer things in life. Of course, to be fair to all the beleaguered and overworked and volunteer parties, I could have done a bit more preparation by consulting Google Crap Maps <coughs> as sort of a buttress. But, hey, it worked. Most of my adventures are kind of a combination of planning and winging it. Raleigh's a fairly rustic town. Just the next town you run into coming out of the Plum Island Trailhead in Newberry. I'm going to follow this probably the whole way to Ipswich. I want to get some of Willowdale. This is a fairly complex undertaking when you don't have a car, but I figure it out. Nice little trail section. Once again, <coughs> astute eye of Al French and his colleagues 
have brought us <coughs> more open space gems. Okay, I figured it out again. It's like a hairpin turn. I actually got lost again. Just, I'm getting lost. Don't go over there, it's useless. Don't go over here. There's a weird little hairpin turn that's strangely expressed on the map and not very clear in the holy writ or the instructions that often appear like they're written by an engineer with severe communications problems. Maybe Asperger's, I don't know. Anyway, they're real terse and not always the most useful shit. But there you have the confidence place. And boy, am I feeling confident now having wandered around this crap for, oh, I don't know, a wasted half an hour or so. But yeah, that's the trick right there. You can see it's kind of overgrown in the meadow. Meadows are naturally confusing spots because they're like voids. Your eye catches the foot trail trace of where the others go, but those are the locals who don't even know the Bay Circuit exists, like the cop I talked to. <laughs> nice job, folks. So, among several choices, we have the real one sort of hidden behind some overgrown milkweed. It's koi. And you come up to it real quick. If you're not paying very careful attention, you'll miss it. That curvy metal thing over there is kind of a hint, but it doesn't, you don't know it's a hint. So yeah, this is probably, this is South Shore crappy in terms of uh, useful communication at a critical point. Once you actually get on the thing though, it isn't too bad. I just, I'm sort of annoyed that I got thrown on such a horrible vector and right at the critical trailhead point in a confusing little meadow, these idiots just don't have it happening. So, uh, I guess that's my cross to bear. When all else fails, I'll come out here because I like being in the woods and I'll figure out where the real thing is. And you can watch a video of it which is more direct and maybe more entertaining than a crappy WordPress website that has load problems and inept information organization with a bunch of things inviting you to contact them. Info at basecircuitalliance.org <laughs> Except no one ever answers you, it's bullshit. Anyway. Enough for the editorials. We figured it out. Okay, the feckless confusion is done. Got a little water, I'm refreshed. You can see they did kind of an old set of steps. like you might find in the White Mountains or something. There was significant and worthy thought put into this at one time. So straight out of the parking lot, you're going uphill. And I'm out of shape. It'll take me forever. And lo, our first interesting landmark that should be in the trail description. It's the abandoned quad. Looks kind of like a souped up ride around lawnmower or something. 
<laughs> like a, oh no, it's got weird fat quad tires. I really have no idea what it is. But it's sort of like this relic marking the transition of Rowley from redneck to yuppie. That's the oil slick of yuppie spread ever further outward from the Boston epicenter. The rednecks abandoned their off-road vehicles headed for parts unknown. Wonderfully cool day. See, look, a blaze. It looks like after having wasted all this battery and daytime getting lost, I'll have to. Put off Willowdale for later, but that's for the best. I'm off really often overly ambitious with these things. 